Hey, I'm Justin, and you're about to watch one of the most comprehensive mobile electronics repair guides on the internet. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn, because this is The Art of Repair. On today's episode of The Art of Repair, we're going to be taking a much closer look at everyone's favorite opening tool, the iSESIMO. Not only that, we're going to be making a modification to it to make it even more useful on a repair-to-repair -repair basis. We've got a very small list of things we're going to need for this modification. In fact, it's only four different things. Alright. So the first thing we're actually going to need today is a hand towel. This might get a little bit messy. Second, we're going to need a container full of cold water. We're going to need a whetstone and we're also going to need a new iSESIMO tool. Before we actually get started though, we're going to take the whetstone and we're going to prep it. By prepping it, we're going to put it in the cold water and we're going to let it set for about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the microscope and take a look at the iSESIMO and see why we're going to be doing what we're doing today. I use my trusty iSESIMO for just about everything and if you're like me, you even have a favorite worn in one that you always use. It's very difficult to know though how useful a tool is going to be until you set it up properly. Whether it's proper calibration or proper preparation, it's always a good idea to take a look at your tools and see how and why they do their job. Now, something to talk about here on a side note, not all iSESMOs are created equal. There are two versions of the original Italian tool and then a wide variety of cheap knockoffs that come from China. No matter which version you have, you can still benefit from this modification. So let's take a moment and compare a used iSESMO to a new one and find out why your old one is better than the new one. The first one we see here is the cheap Chinese copy. It's thick all the way to the tip with no edge. Here we have the iSESMO version 2 and we can see that they learned from the wear marks on the iSESMO version 1 that I have over here on the far right and added a small edge to their updated design as to make it easier to get into smaller places without causing damage to the devices. We're going to take this design one step further and take the edge all the way around to the top of the tool, creating the ultimate iSESIMO. So today's goal is to file down the iSESIMO to give it a more aged and used feel, which in turn will give you a more accurate tool, which will increase the overall quality of your craftsmanship. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've taken a look at the iSESIMO under the microscope, and I've shown you why we're going to be doing what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get started with this modification. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the whetstone out of the water. All right, we're going to wipe off the excess water. There's no reason for it to be completely soaked everywhere. The, the whetstone itself has actually got a lot of water inside it at this point. That was the whole point of soaking it for 10 minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and open our iSESIMO tool. The goal of what we're doing here is we're going to be rounding off the edges and then we're going to be giving it an edge itself. So to do that, we're going to take the whetstone and we're going to use the rough side first. All right. So we're going to round out the edges and make sure you're going even on both sides so that you don't take too much material off one side over the other. You're going to want to do this evenly around all the edges. I will say this is a lot easier if you do this in your lap. I'm doing it on the table, obviously, so I can show you guys how to do it. The whole process should take maybe two or three minutes. If you don't wet your whetstone, what's gonna end up happening is a lot of this excess material is gonna go flying. You're gonna have dust everywhere. Let's take a look, see. Yep, we're starting to get there. sure you're even and you don't focus on one side more than the other. Now that we have a solid edge on it, we're going to go ahead and flip the whetstone over and we're going to smooth it out a little bit. We're going to use the same technique we used on the first run and make sure we get all of the sides evenly. see the iSESMO itself bends as you do it, so you're going to get a nice solid edge on it. Now the corners are rounded and the edge is smooth, we're going to take it back to the microscope and we're going to see what we got now. 
We can see here that after filing the tool down, the edge is much rounder and sharper than even the official version 2i Sesimo and is now properly broken in for use. This will undoubtedly do a much better job getting in small openings without damaging anything. Now you have your very own modified iSesimo and you're one step closer to mastering the art of repair. So thanks for watching. On our next video, we'll be taking it one step further and adding another amazing feature to your iSesimo. Also, let us know in the comments if there's anything you want to see covered on the art of repair. Or maybe you have your own tip or trick you'd like to share. Well, it's time for me to get out of here. So once again, I'm Justin and this was the art of repair. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.